What is up, people? Right now, me and Sweet Pea back here, we are going to look at a car. Right now, I'm in the market for a new daily driver. I want something that's gonna be tamed when I'm sitting in traffic, but also something I can have a little bit of motherfucking fun in when I'm ready to really get it. That thing's a piece of crap. Oh. Get the muffler fixed, Poppy! But anyway, we're going right now. There's one that popped up at the dealer. We're actually going to look at a Lexus ISF. I don't want to stick shift because like I said, I will be sitting in traffic, but I do want something that has some balls to it. And something that's going to be pretty reliable. So let's go check this John so out. So we've made it to the dealership. Uh, this is kind of like a smaller dealership uh, north of Pittsburgh. Nothing crazy. I'm going to leave Sweet Pea in the car here. It's beautiful outside. It's not hot. The windows are open here. But one thing about this dealership, it's pretty cool. He has a lot of cool stuff here for being like a smaller dealership. We got some Mustangs back here, Corvette, big lifted truck. But uh, he also has stuff like that. Ferrari, some other Mustangs here. But we're here to look at one specific car, and that is the Lexus ISF. I think this is a 2012 model. Let's check it out. So here it is, the Lexus ISF. Conveniently right next to it, a C63 AMG. This has way more, this, uh, not way more. What I'm looking for is something that's reliable. I'm really stickler on reliability. I want something that's gonna last me, I'm not gonna have to worry about. And what has better reputation than Toyota? Not many things. But this is gray, it's not my favorite color, but I am a fan of the wheels. These are 19 inch wheels here. These have huge brakes. Um, uh, they only look like one piston calipers on the back here. Good. Oh, nice vet. Side skirts down here. This is actually not functional, but I like the look of it. Love the F badge. It looks good even for today's standards, even though this is like five or six years old. 19 inch wheels in the front as well. Now these look like, yeah, these are four piston calipers. The brakes are absolutely huge. I like the gunmetal wheels. This one has this carbon fiber lip looking right here. It looks kind of cheap if you ask me, not a fan of that. Um, these have that Lexus strip across the front. Darkened chrome down here. Um, it's not open and I came here when it wasn't open for a reason because I don't want to be here a sales pitch. I just want to look. I'm in, a, in the market for a new daily driver. I want to experience everything on my own. I don't want somebody to try to sell me something. Uh, interior is good. It's a black interior. Looks like there's a suede on the insert. That looks like a carbon fiber in the center dash there, but uh, looks doesn't look that great. But it's clean. I mean, this car is a few years old, so it's not going to be that nice. But overall, it's good. I like the lip on the back here. Gives it some subtlety. I like that it's like bulgy. It looks bulgy and bigger than it actually is. Uh, five liter V8. I think it's 415 horsepower, something like that. Um, and on the forums, trust me, I've been doing some research people say they average on the highway north of 20 miles per gallon for a 5 liter v8 that's pretty damn good some people say they could average up to 24 even i've seen somebody said he gets 26 if he really takes it easy but this one right here it's uh 41.9 and i think 31,000 miles on it. i think it actually has less than 31,000 miles according to the the ad on auto trader cars.com but it's overall a decent car. Uh, like I said, I'm in the market for it. Me, I'm more of a Japanese kind of guy. I love this C63. I think it's great. The edge is phenomenal. I just don't want to have the maintenance issues that come associated with German cars. Uh, even though this is going to have some maintenance on it too, I just don't think it would be this maintenance would not be as bad as that maintenance. This is definitely something I... I'm interested in. 
and I guess we will see with due time if it's something I go with. I'm all over the board. I'm looking at new cars, used cars, but I like sedans and I want something that's got some balls to it. And I do like the fact that it's the reliability of a Lexus and all that other fun stuff. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of the Lexus ISF. You think it'd be a good daily driver. You think I should look at something else. I did try to pre-order a Honda Civic Type R, but that didn't go through. And I'm just kind of over the Type R thing right now because they're going to be coming out with an all-wheel drive version from what I'm told. So I don't really know. I don't want to get a front-wheel front drivers and then they fuck around, come around with all-wheel drivers and I'm pissed off they got an all-wheel drive when, when I could have got that one. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you think the ISF will make a good daily driver for me? Do you think it'll be an upgrade from this thing that I've had forever in a day? Hey, I'm not knocking this TSX because it has been the most reliable car I probably ever owned. I've never, ever had an issue. Brakes, tires, you know, plain maintenance that you have to do on every cars. And I had to replace the battery once. But other than that, nothing. It's been one of the greatest cars I've ever owned, most reliable cars I've ever owned. But I just want something that's... I've told my wife this, I want something that's a dual threat, night and day. I want something that I can drive and, and down to work and be comfortable, sit in traffic and be fine. But if I want to have a little bit of fun, boop boop, I want something that can do that. And I think the ISF is the perfect car for that. There's some other ones out there I'm going to look at. Um, but I just want something that I know is going to be reliable, fun, and I'm going to enjoy for at least four or five years.